Alex Jones on the return. Big time block by Holland to help clear him. Yeah, what they did. This is one of the reasons why the Dallas Cowboys. Who makes the grab at the Buffalo 34. It's good for 26 yards. Well, it's just it's something to the Dallas Cowboys. Slot receiver 16. They love the vertical passing game. Going to throw here on first down for the long ball. Down the sideline and what a catch. That's Tez Bryant who takes it away from McKelvin for the Cowboys touchdown. 34 yards, Dez Bryant pulls it in. You want to play man-to-man -man coverage against Dez Bryant, they worry about number 88 because of this. We are back, Jim Nance and Phil Sims and Fred Jackson. Fitzpatrick telling us last night, you've always got to be aware of where DeMarcus, where number 94 is on the field. He's got a 10-yard sack. That's all we've talked about, Jim. We did it in the opening. How can you make that mistake? The first play of the game. Coming from behind, Frank Walker jarred it out. It's an incomplete. For eight and a first. Well, that was the first time today that this Buffalo defense said, well, let's give this offense a little credit. And they played a zone, worried about the man-to-man -man coverage. 46, another 13 for Murray. Isn't it, it amazing when we talk to the Cowboys, even Tony Romo talked about DeMarco Murray, this quick draw up inside. Cowboys, an excellent draw screen team. Starting his second season today, 16 games into his reign, taking over a 1-7 and team last year. And he's 9-7 and now in that 16-game span. Well, that was just the counter throw from the touchdown. You're McGee, you're going to play off, so let's run the stop route. Romo spins away from the hip, goes to the end zone, and he's got his man for the touchdown. It's Robinson getting the start today for Austin. What a play by Tony Romo. He knows it's a blitz. He says, let's pick it up. There's still not enough guys. You can see there's one free runner coming through there, Scott. But Tony Romo knew.
tonight on 60 Minutes, congressional approval ratings are at an all-time low and likely to sink even lower when Americans hear what 60 Minutes has uncovered tonight. Only CBS. So Robinson has the touchdown catch. of a couple we've got an update on pittsburgh and cincinnati and the cowboys will take over at the 42. rayner for ryan lindell robinson in stride and touchdown dallas 58 yards to leron robinson Boy, the stacked receivers really caught the Buffalo Bills. They caught them off guard. And Drayton Florence says, well, their receivers are together to try to confuse us to throw a route underneath. That's what you always think. veterans and active servicemen and women learn more at nfl.com slash salute a little bit of everything in that drive Everybody's involved in this Buffalo offense. The one thing I've always liked about it, watching them, everybody's the first receiver. There's always got to be alert the ball comes your way. A quasi Awasu Ansa for the Bills. I just saw a really hard throw and a nice catch. 86 in the slot. Abram Elam, they pass it off beautifully. He's in position, and he can't believe he missed the knockdown on the throw. And there is David. Nice block by the tight end. Insured the first down in 17 yards. Look at the receivers to the left side of Tony Romo. Clear it out. They love to bring the running back across. And has the first down at the Buffalo 39. Picks up 18. It's Wilson on the tackle. Wilson, who told us last night, was third down defense. And it happened here again. Another conversion by the Cowboys. Picks up 10 and a first. Well, the big guy is slick inside. Boy, number 82 left of your screen just goes up a little. He fakes like he's going out, and he pivots back in. What do you do against Dez Bryant? It's really tough. He's so big and strong and quick. But Kelvin... Go first half. It's Murray, and Murray is in for the touchdown. The second touchdown of the season. He ran behind Fiametta. Fiametta, very good role player blocker. 
but it's really like a little fake screen draw, and I really like what it does. It separated the deep. Turkey we saw being carved. We'll, we'll save that for a week and a half's time when we'll be back here in Dallas. Murray has the touchdown, his second of the season. That wasn't a clean handle here, or the handoff. No, it wasn't clean. Looking for the running lane. That sometimes can cause that. Fiamet, a nice block inside. But how about that? DeMarco Murray, pretty tall linebacker, uh, gets low enough to get past. was shaken up he landed on his left shoulder supports great gaming yeah the Cowboys are complaining that we did not call a timeout Romo was 18 of 19 in that half for 237 yards us leads it 28 to 7. Back now over the last six quarters, Bill. Buffalo's been outscored 55 to 18. What do you expect we're going to see coming up now? It's the it's the defense. They, they got to find a way to stop the Dallas Cowboys. And I don't know, you can't say, well, we're going to start blitzing Tony Romo. Well, I haven't seen any evidence that you can cover the wide receivers. So it's a dilemma for the Bills. Just do better. Everybody, everybody do a better job themselves and see if the normal defense can slow them down to give their offense a chance to get back in the game. Of course, Romo, 18 of 19, with the three touchdown pass season, second most in the league, but no answers for Romo in that first half. I think when you look at it, Jim, and you think about the Buffalo defense, Who's going to make the plays to give them a chance to get back into the game? Is it a pass rusher? Is it a defensive back that could maybe intercept the pass?
intended for Donald Jones, and Alan Ball was there defending. The Cowboys take over. Jim Nance, Bill Sims. And we're back here mid-third. A five and three. Sixth round draft pick. And at least uh, a good sign there at the end. Look who's here. J.R. Ewing. There you go. Larry Hagman. Love that show. Yeah, it was a first big time CBS hit long ago, but you know, even got the hat still. Huh? I know, I love the hat. You know, I, I'm when he talked to us the other day, just that uh, I'll get to that Houston comment in a second, but. He gives a lot of credit to the offensive line. Look at that protection. Look at the lane that he has down the middle. Another good example. You know, anytime you have second window, first it's covered, I'll just wait on a three-step drop when you can wait for that second chance to throw. Dan Bailey has just converted on a 45-yard field goal. Make him now 21 of 22 on the season. His only miss was from 21 yards again. Roger Staubach doing a little guest radio appearance here. And speaking yesterday to the Navy midshipmen who were in town to take on SMU. And there's a former CBS colleague, my personal sure. sports hero growing up right there, Roger Staubach. And he spoke... Marcus Spears was creating a little havoc on the quarterback. Just yeah. enough havoc, Jim. From Urbeck and Piers. And here he is getting tangled up with Marcus Ware. It's just, uh, maybe it was the feet that tangled. I don't know. But, boy, that is a big injury for the Bills. They've already got such a banged up offensive yes. line. And look, you can tell he's falling backwards as he throws it because he has to protect himself right off the fingertips. Good job by Newman staying up and staying relaxed to catch the football. But you take these chances, 31-7. to 7. If the score was tied, would he risk a throw like that? I don't think he would. And big plays down the field. The Bills are not making them. That is Tell him in the film room tomorrow. Don't do it again. Yeah, in, 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 you, you've proven you're tough. You're, you're going to be the running back. Swish. Yeah, we've got the uh, Summer Olympics uh, inside of a year over in London. Maybe we can get Murray on the uh, U.S. team as a hurdler. Just, look at this. He hits the, wow, oh, clears the helmet of Bird, too. And, and you know, the, what is the key to tackling DeMarco Murray? to go to get around his leg so you want to go low and hit him <laughs> so bird's gonna do a form tackle coach i did what you told me but he's been impressive you know it's, it, it just goes to show you jim you said to me how was he drafted in the third round because i think running backs are so unique in the nfl now when you watch college football it's hard to tell which ones are going to translate to the pro game because for running backs, it is truly a different game than college. He's now got the Cowboy four-game record based off his 88 yards factored in today. 
He scored 65 touchdowns at Oklahoma in his career there. And that's the all-time touchdown mark for the Sooners. You'll see the ground can't cause it. Well, here it is. One more look. Hit on the elbow. Watch. Helmet to the elbow. Football has to come out. Now you see the scramble for it. Chandler misses it. In the back there, you see Jay Ratliff clean. There's the football. He's going to get up with it here in a second, number 90. So there's the evidence you needed. At the 47. Yeah, the Dallas Cowboy, their offensive line, when you watch what they've done today, they've protected well. And look at Fiametta goes outside. Hanner gets the job done, and Murray returns to the Cowboy huddle. Well, you think about the team. Robinson comes in at wide receiver. Man, what a nice get by the Cowboys again. He at about the 32-yard line. Yes, you talk about how much you lean on your scouting department, guys. Like Chris Hall. Yeah. The college scouting coordinator. Yeah. Well, he's got a little Barry Sanders in him, except he's about, you know, four, five, six inches taller and a lot heavier. But the moves, the feet. talked about in the first half Phil how the Bills had to be matched up against the Ryan twins Rex last week Rob today well the Bills will be glad to get away from this family that's for sure but you know when you talk you look at those two brothers both defensive coordinators of course Rex head coach the Jets and it's intercepted and it's Newman for the second time and Newman's gonna take it home for the touchdown Terrence Newman Tried to look it up, Brian Fitzpatrick can throw on time, but it really isn't a timing route. When the receiver's coming inside, you have to see it, then throw it. And a lot of defenders out there.
now. You're five and four. That's what it, that's what it's going to be, Jim. You know, no matter how you lose, don't go. Oh, it's not a defeat that's going to crush the team. Offense has to play better first. You look at their schedule. At Miami, at the Jets, neither one. Of course, nothing's easy. Who are we kidding? Every game there is going to be tough. And the defense has got to find a way to pressure the quarterback. That would be the other big issue with this Buffalo Bills team. We're favoring that left shot. There's some confusion here. What's going on? Did this pop into the hands of Walker? No, he had him down. He's done it all the way. Oh, nice. Well done. They'll have to look long and hard. Yep. Just an impressive performance. Cowboys, Dan Gailey. One time was the coach here, and Garrett was his quarterback for a, quite a few games. Won a big one, in fact, for him up in New York one time.